Uh, oh, it's Lee. Lee's go. Possession. All oh. right. Box under the desk, Lee. I'd like you to read the card first and then show us what's in there, Lee. I spent an entire year in a plastic work class at school and this is the only thing I managed to make. Plastic work? What is it? <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Can we have a look? Can we make a Can you bring it up? What is that, though? <laughs> Thank you. It's shit. <laughs> Bastard, and I treated your teddy bear with such respect. <laughs> <laughs> what is it though? Uh, ironically, it's a luggage tag. Is it a luggage uh... tag? <laughs> it's a keyring. It's a keyring, right? Oh, is it a keyring? What is it? Are you, are you a big sports fan, eh? I do follow football. Yeah, which team do you follow? I follow Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn Rovers? <laughs> Blackburn doesn't begin with an L, does it? <laughs> No, what was it, LFC? Um, uh, it was uh, Liberace for Chancellor. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it stands for Liverpool Football Club. Yes, it does. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, why did so, you make a Liverpool Football Club key ring because it in was... plastic work? <laughs> <laughs> because they didn't have uh, blue and white plastic, Blackburn Rovers. They only had red plastic. So I thought, well, I'll give it... The, the Liverpool Football Club, because it's red. <laughs> right. When did you do it? What age were you when you did that? Was it at school, then? Yeah. Uh, no, it was in Broadmoor. <laughs> <laughs> you say it took you a year. No, a year. I mean, I've never heard of plastic, plastic work. I know, well, the thing is, in 1982, plastic was the future. <laughs> I, th I, don't, I don't in any way disparage plastic. That's fine. I like plastic. Plastic's very useful. But a class at school called plastic for doing work. for plastic work. Yeah. How did you cut it? What did well, you not use? not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you're in any position to get all haughty about your plastic cutting technique if this not. is the only evidence we have. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I don't, I don't believe this, but I'd love to know what this object is, <laughs> who made it and why. But I think we think it's a lie. Oh, a lie. Totally 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 totally. OK, they say it's a lie. Lee, is it a truth or is it a lie? It is, in fact, true. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> That's good work. That was, that was a lesson that never caught on. Plastic work. Plastic work. Plastic work. Does anyone else do what plastic is? work? <laughs> Did you get marked on that? Was that yes, submitted I did for get examination? Marked. What was your grade? Uh, uh, I got uh, a 2 1 and we went straight to Oxford. What did you think? <laughs> yes, it's true. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know exactly what LFC stands for, but I'm guessing the first word is lazy. <laughs> Possession. Right, there's a box under the desk, Lee. Uh, now I'd like you to take the item out of the box and hold the object, then read the card out, please. This is my dibber. I donated it to the British Lawnmower Museum, where it is now a permanent exhibit. <laughs> right. uh, David, what is a dibber? What's a dibber? Uh, a dibber? That's a good question, David. <laughs> and would you believe me if I was to say I don't know? But it's a... it's a... Go <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> I'll mind it for you. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Could be any of these. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's to do with gardening. <laughs> so what does your dibber do? Pardon? What does your dibber do? Are you are you Fred Flintstone? <laughs> <laughs> Answer the question. What does your dibber do? Um, <laughs> not 100 percent sure, but I guess I would. Say the dipper is for pushing holes in the f in the ground, yeah, and then maybe popping something in there like a seed. I, I see. see. How did your dipper come to be in the British Lawnmower Museum? Um, I'll tell you, Inspector Morse. <laughs> have you ever been to Southport, my hometown? Uh, I have, yes. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Can I start again? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. I have never been <laughs> to the British Lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> I was online. I was online. But it is in Southport. It is in Southport, yeah. that's true. 
and I did see it online. What did you put into Google that that came up? Uh, well, you don't want to know that. <laughs> but I noticed that on the website there was a bit that said that the, the tools of the rich and famous. Famous tools, that's what I typed in. <laughs> <laughs> there is actually, I do know for a fact that there is a British Lawnmower Museum because I myself have donated a trowel. You haven't. <laughs> I have, honestly, Rob. I donated a trowel. To what the is British this lawnmower. museum? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just, surely they want a lawnmower. <laughs> So you saw the Lawnmower Museum online, online. with a list of celebrity artefacts. There was quite a few. There was the Brian May um, from Queen had given a lawnmower. Joe Pasquale had given a strimmer. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what happened then? I thought that'd be a nice thing to do, wouldn't it? Because it's my hometown. Sorry, you, um, you decide. You saw that and you thought, I, 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 I want a piece of that. I want a piece of the action. Prince Charles, he gave some. This is where the story is <laughs> falling apart. Because one is no, asked... that's not where the story is falling apart. But one is asked to donate to you don't. I you wanted give... to donate something. I thought it'd be quite nice to have something of mine because it's my hometown. So you picked up the phone. I picked up the. You're still doubting my abilities, are you, Joe? <laughs> <is> not. <laughs> <laughs> Not your ability to make a phone call. Who made the doubting. phone? <laughs> are you, I are you seriously phone. saying that the fact that you could have physically made this phone call means I should believe that you did? <laughs> I picked up you the say, phone. look, I could have made the call, I'm physically capable, therefore it happened, David. End of story. I picked up the phone, I phoned them up, I said, I'd like to donate something. They said, What have you got? I said, uh, Dipper. <laughs> you knew its name. Well, actually, I, I, yes. You knew its name, but you didn't know what it was for. That's actually not true. I okay. said... So what did you say? I took advice before the phone call. From whom? From who? From whom? I'm not doing it if you put an M at the end. All right. From who? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who's putting the M at the end? Do you know what I mean? No one yeah. anymore. Who no did one. you take advice from? <laughs> I shall you tell you. You found a thing in the yeah. shed. You didn't know you owned it. You didn't yes. know what it was. Who did you ask about it? You want to know from who? I want to I want to know who you asked about that object <laughs> in order to find out what it was called. I shall tell you. Well, please. David David Tennant, or as I call him, Doctor Who. You asked. <laughs> you asked Doctor Who. Doctor Who. <laughs> who did you ask? Tom Baker. <laughs> <laughs> there are seven billion humans on Earth. Please let's not eliminate them one by one. <laughs> Uh, I, I asked my wife. So, David, what do you think? <laughs> is Lee telling the truth or is he lying to Dale? us? Dale? I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> if it is true, it's one of the best acting performances I think I've ever seen. Thank if, you. You've got, if it's true. If it's true. Do you think, you think it's true? No, I do not. No, it's, yeah. no, it's a lie. Okay, David, no, what are you going to say? We think it's a lie. You think it's a lie? Okay, uh, Lee, truth or lie? <laughs> it is, in fact. <laughs> true. Oh! <laughs> Not only is it true, but how exciting is this? We've got a picture. <laughs> there it is, in situ, <laughs> at the British Lawnmower <laughs> Museum. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Eh? Just a simple tool who donated his dibber to the British Lawnmower <laughs> Museum. Possession. Uh, right, well, in that case, uh, step this way and uh, take the card, read the card to us, and then when you've done that, you can reveal your possession. In Thailand, I paid £200 <laughs> to have my portrait painted by a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> this is that portrait. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give you that? David, what do you think? Yes, go. Treasure it. Um, what colour <laughs> shirt were you wearing? <laughs> Uh, you probably want to ask less what colour shirt I was wearing and what <coughs> colours were available to the monkey at the time. <laughs> you don't particularly remember it's being green? No, and I don't were remember having four green ears, yeah. either. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what colours were available to the monkey? Blue, red, green and its own excrement. <laughs> That's my face! <laughs> Can I just say, I was recently at a zoo where I was painting with chimps. <laughs> In the North Wales, in the Colwyn Bay Mountains in Wales, and I tried to get them to paint stuff, and there's no way that they would have done that well. I'm not being racist, but that's your Welsh chimp. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying. How big was the chimp? Well, let me remember now. He was sort of like this. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'd say 
was about uh, <laughs> he's about that big sat oh. down. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> that plus a couple of chimps legs. <laughs> I honestly don't think that a monkey is a sort of mouth on that, yeah. and, his, and yeah. his eyes is two blue blobs right. The monkey monkeys could... can't do that. You think it's too good, is what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. I think the resemblance is too strong. <laughs> <laughs> You've even got your little little That's... squinty cockeyed eyes. <laughs> don't push your luck. <laughs> Things I have to put up with on the show. <laughs> you, you're wondering why it's like this, OK? No, well, it's interesting. Say... I'm not wondering why... He could have been, it could have been better, but he was a surrealist. <laughs> <laughs> David, what are you going to say? Is this monkey story true? <laughs> I think it's a lie. I, I think it's an, an absolutely pointless act yeah, yeah. to get a monkey to paint a picture of you, and I think Lee would also have thought that. I think Rod thinks it's a lie. We know that. Sally? Yeah. He looks like a hard man. He okay. yeah. wouldn't be easily... So, David, Full you're saying lie? I think we, lie. we all yeah. think it's a lie, okay. yeah. Lee? I'm sorry, but it feels weird being up and not being able to press something. Do you mind? Not at all. It is, in fact, <laughs> a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Um, what a surprise. It was a lie. Uh, Lee what didn't... is a lie? How am I supposed to sell that as a truth? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm glad it's not mine. <laughs> My four-year-old son is watching. Um, <laughs> thanks for doing it, and I'll fix it, and, and I'll bring it home. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling him I want me 200 quid back on that monkey suit. <laughs> yes, it was, of course, a lie. Uh, Lee didn't pay £200 to have his portrait painted by a monkey in Thailand. I mean, why would a dumb, hairy beast who spends all day throwing his feces at the wall and scratching his bottom want a portrait from a monkey? <laughs> it's Lee. Oh, possession. Right, there should be a box under your desk. Um, would you first of all read the card out and then take the possession out and pop it on the desk? This is the set of keys I carry around with me every day. I know what every single one is for. Apart from one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> box back on the floor. So, <laughs> just take us through the, the set of keys, Lee, in your own time. Okay. Please don't feel you have to it's rush. It's not okay. saying his own time. It's, oh. it's all of our time, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But, OK, <laughs> carry on. So, now, I've got three keys that look very similar, so I have to put those little things on to, to, to give you the different yeah. colours. And these colours help me a lot, because that's for the blue door, that's for the green door, <laughs> that's for the yellow door. <laughs> yes. Now, I'll never forget, because the blue door is blue, the yellow door is yellow, and the green one is my next-door neighbour, Shaking Stevens. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, what lies behind those doors? So that's my yeah. front door key. Yeah. And that's which genuinely is a blue door, my okay. front door. Okay. okay. The green one genuinely is my next door neighbour's key, but it isn't Shaking yeah. Stevens. Yeah. I'm okay. not an idiot. It's Howard Jones. And the yellow one, <laughs> the yellow one is um, the key for the door at the back yeah. of the house. Now this <laughs> this one, that's that's the, the the key for the front door that the the bottom lock. Uh, what right. do you call that? Bolt. Lock? Bolt. Yes, I wish I could. Yeah. <laughs> 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 This, this, <laughs> this unusual looking key, that's for the money chest. <laughs> <laughs> the money the chest. Money <laughs> that's for a small tin that we keep some, some money in. That, right. And, and some things that we don't want the kids to see. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you want the kids to see money? And uh, what else do you want the kids in, to see? There's other things in I don't mind them seeing the money. Yeah, it's yeah. the other things yeah. I don't what, want them to see. Like what? what? The remains. <laughs> <laughs> So, OK, uh, that's where you keep your money and the remains of uh, those who you've killed. Yes. <laughs> then you've got PBU. That's that one there. What does PBU stand for? Uh, PBU on the key ring? Yes. It's the place for bins, you. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and it's, a, it's a little... Um, <laughs> just like that! Yeah. My, I, what happened? He couldn't have made that up. It's true. <laughs> We've got one of those outside little shed things you're supposed to put the bins in to make it look tidy. And my wife constantly comes out and says, there's a place for the bins, you! <laughs> and to help me remember, that's the key, I put PBU on the it's, thing. So, so you bins. give yourself the job of remembering the night before the bin men are coming to go out, unlock these bins. Every time you go to put some rubbish away, you unlock the bin. No. This is none of this... 
because the shed that the bins are kept in doesn't have the lock, the gate leading to the shed <laughs> that the bins are kept in. <laughs> <laughs> What's going in these bins? My wife, <laughs> Katie, thinks more of the bins than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we've got we've got this little baby here. Oh, this tells a story. This one is for the safe. Ah, oh. but the safe, uh -huh. bizarrely, it was already in the house, and it's behind a picture. How exciting! The key has never fitted. We never know what's in the safe. Now, what is the picture in front of the safe? Uh, the picture is under the safe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that picture. You know the, you know the we, safe that yeah. doesn't exist. Well, this... there's a picture that doesn't exist in front of it. This is What's the bit. It? It's, oh. it's, 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 it's obviously bit. a painting of your bins. This is the bin. This is the bit. You are going to find bins that must never be taken this from the, the house. This is the bit you're going to find crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a picture of the safe. <laughs> And this, David, is the key to your heart. <laughs> it's not. That is to the side passage. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it's quite annoying. It's quite annoying to get through the side passage because I have to open the gated community to the bins. <laughs> and that takes me through to the side passage, which I open. And that's finished. all the keys apart from this one. Do you know what that one's for, Fiona? Nobody knows. <laughs> and how did you get that key? That key. Just give it to... And this is the bit that's not funny, and I don't want any jokes. <laughs> My great-grandfather fought in the First World War, and uh, he had a key round his neck, and we don't know what the key was for, but it was passed on. He gave it to his father, his father he, gave it to his father. He gave it to his father, <laughs> so he passed it on... ..backwards <laughs> in time. <laughs> no, no, no. All I will say is, just in summary, I'm not pitching it to you because it is true, but if you don't believe it, quite simply, the story is simple. What is there not to believe? I come home, I make sure the side-gated community to the bins are unlocked so I can get the bins out, leave them on a Tuesday, and let me open the side passage and get in, lock the side passage, come through to the house, open the safe by moving the pitch, I can't open the safe, I always forget, I close the safe, I get the tin, open it up, move the eyeballs, get the money out, close the tin, open the thing, back inside, straight to the front door, which is blue, go out, Feed Howard Jones's cat next door who I accidentally said was shaking Stevens. What part of that are you telling me? <laughs> so what are you going to say, David? What was your team thing? I think we're going to say it's, it's a lie. lie. Saying it's a lie. Lee! <laughs> was it the truth or was it a lie? It was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Possession. Right. Under the desk is a box. So pop it on the desk very carefully, very carefully, like that. I've recently got into baking, and here's a cake I made yesterday, especially for David. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that ain't bad, is it? <laughs> Let's have a proper look at that cake. It's uncanny. It's got <laughs> all of my thousands of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we see how close the depiction is? We have the technology to, to do what they call split screen. Okay. Look down <laughs> camera one. <laughs> OK, so talk us through what's gone into making that cake. Well, how do you, what do you want to know first? The how you made it. OK. <laughs> right, first of all, I, I made the, the cake bit. Let's call it the cake bit, right? <laughs> you made the sponge. A sponge. I made the sponge How first. do you make a sponge? How don't you make a sponge? <laughs> how do you make a sponge? Now, let's do how don't you make a sponge. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what you do is you get, you get your eggs and your flour. Of course. Mm -hmm. And then... How uh, many I, eggs for a, for a sponge of that size? I would say for that size, the <laughs> bottom bit. Or the other bottom. bit, really, they're the same size. <laughs> oh, no, they're not. They're not, David. Your bottom is a lot bigger than your top, are <laughs> uh, For the bottom, I use, I use about... I would say I use about six eggs for the bottom. Ooh. Ooh. Nadia, six eggs for the bottom, yes or so no? So, 12 eggs altogether? No. Yes. No. Yes. I didn't say how I'd made the top sponge. Six... <laughs> um... what, what temperature did you bake it at? Uh, it was, I was, the room was room temperature at the time. <laughs> Preheated the oven <laughs> at 180 degrees because it's fan assisted. So I knocked off 10% for that. <laughs> All right. That so, sounds so right, Nadia. Almost convincing. Yeah. Wow. You, you knocked off 10%. You always do yeah. knock off 10% if it's fan assisted. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna have a little lick of your moustache, David. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it, Lee, but you've slightly spoilt my present. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you eat it and you pass out and wake up in my cellar. <laughs> so, six eggs per sponge. No, I... no, no. Three eggs per, per top, half and bottom half. OK. All right. How long do you leave that sponge in? I would say... What I tend to do is I don't do it the traditional way of timing it. I keep a good eye on it and I wait till it's sponge-like and take it out. OK. <laughs> it, it takes about... I'd say it took me about... Half an hour 40 idea. minutes. I mean, unless you bake, you don't know when you've got a fan assisted oven. It's difficult, isn't it? That, yeah. <laughs> when you've got a fan assisted oven. He seems to know. He seems it is to know difficult. that bit of you seem to know that bit of information, which is not everyone knows that. Well, people are stupid. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Let's go to the, the centerpiece, the, yes, the, the, the crowning the triumph, crown. which is the wonderful visual depiction yeah. of David. <laughs> How did you approach yeah. bringing him so vividly to life? Well. Talk us through that. Uh, well, I started off, uh, I tried to do you. Here we go. <laughs> but that came out very bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, even though you violated David's face, who would like to try a piece? I'll try some. All right. Mm. Now, <laughs> what flavour is it, just so we know when we taste it? It's a sort it's... of... It's an orangey citrus uh, invention. OK, here we go. Here's the first slice. Yeah. This is going to Diane. Yes. There you go. And then Bob. What would you say? How would you describe the flavour, Diane? I won't be insulted. It's very dry. Well, yeah. it wasn't dry when I made it last week. <laughs> <laughs> David, would you like a slice of your own head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no dear. You be the judge. Listen, don't hold back. I can take it. You can it. all have this. It looks like cake and it, and it tastes like cake. <laughs> but it acts like a carpet. <laughs> It's dry enough to, for me to believe that you might have made it. Ah. <laughs> what are you thinking, Michael? I think that he's been doing a bit of bacon. I think he's made it. I think it's bad enough for him to have baked Whoa! it. Whoa! <laughs> Michael, you also think... Confirm. You also think he did it. I think, I think he did. He did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think... I think maybe... I think... <laughs> he's just cutting your eye <laughs> You know, often on this show you say I don't see things from your point of view. <laughs> <laughs> David, it's time to decide. <laughs> was it the truth or was it a lie? Well, I think we think it could be true. You're going to say true? Yeah. OK, Lee. I'm going to keep these and take them home. <laughs> and wear them when I make love to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Was it the truth or was it a lie? Well, actually, it is, in fact, a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, if you step out from behind the desk, read the card first. When I ran out of petrol with my kids in the car, the only way I could get to the nearest garage quickly was on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pop that down there, sir. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so, where did you break down? I broke down uh, just after this round, crying. <laughs> <laughs> It was a country lane. Whereabouts in the it, world? It was just somewhere around Oxfordshire. You're from Oxfordshire, aren't you? Yes. Let's change that. Uh, <laughs> it was somewhere just around Oxfordshire. And this was in the car? This was not in the car. This belonged to a farmer. Um, um, <laughs> belonged to a farmer? The smallest <laughs> campus farmer you can imagine. <laughs> so I run out of petrol, we're in the middle of nowhere, I pull over near the hedgerow bit. Yeah. And then I remember passing a petrol station back there. How far? A mile? Half a mile? About a mile and a half. Mile and a half. A about mile and a half? And you didn't just think, I'll walk a mile and a half? <laughs> no, it's not. It's three miles, isn't it? Because you've got to get back as well. <laughs> that, that's got true. Got you there, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, well, that with you all Oxbridge and everything, yeah. and him having no education, yeah. that's quite embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. Still, three miles, that's not that far. Right. Three miles is a long way when you've got children in the car crying. Well, hold on, then. If you did three miles on it, you can definitely do four yards. So let's have a look at you on the bike. <laughs> and then, let me finish the story. <laughs> and I remember as I came back with a petrol canister falling off and damaging my leg and vowing that day never, <laughs> ever, <laughs> to ride one of these pieces again.
Would you like me to demonstrate me riding the bike? I think so. Yeah. Kill you for this. <laughs> Go around the back, round yes. the side of Sarah, you can do it from there. OK, I'm not feeling as young as I used to be, so I may not be able to do a wheelie. <laughs> right. Is it all coming back? <laughs> and you have the petrol can as well, of course. You're yeah. very out of breath. Yes, and, I am. And you've done <laughs> one lap of this. Now, you're yeah. telling us that you cycled mm. three miles. Yes. Do you remember having a coronary arrest <laughs> at the end of the journey? I was a lot younger in those days. Why? When was it? This was just after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, what are you doing? I'm thinking in a minute I'm going to go wheelie the bike to the edge. Oh, they're <laughs> saying in my ear it seems like a very bad idea. I say <laughs> let it have a go. Oh! They're saying to you, this is a bad idea. How do you think I feel? <laughs> what, you mean the day people have said, pretend that you stole a child's bike and went to a petrol station, <laughs> and they're saying, I'm the one with the bad idea? <laughs> um, I'll just say, Rob, come here. You with your little body. Come on. <laughs> Will you help me onto it? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll sit here and do the easy bit. <laughs> right, I think I'm just going to make him cycle around for a while. <laughs> I, I'm doing Rob Bright. Oh. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> do you want me to help you onto the seat? <laughs> oh, jump! So, while Lee brings that huge bike back up, what are you thinking? Stop me if you yeah. object, but I think we're going to say <laughs> that it's a lie. You're saying it's a lie? All right. Yeah. It is, in fact... <laughs> a lie! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a lie. Lee didn't ride a child's bike <laughs> to a petrol station. Stupid game! <laughs> It's Lee. Oh. It says possession. Right. Under the desk is a box. If you uh, bring the box onto the desk. Now, read the card first and then show us the possession. I recently took a crash course in taxidermy, <laughs> by the end of which I'd managed to make this. <laughs> okay. Show us what this is. <laughs> Pop it onto the desk. <laughs> Team. Where would you like to begin? What is it? I can't can see we have it. A, can we have a proper oh, look? That, up. Sheila, is what I call <laughs> mouse on a skateboard. <laughs> you like me to mouse, take it across? It? Please do. What's it made of? <laughs> made of mouse. <laughs> With a little bit of skateboard. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, How was he killed? He looks like he was... <laughs> I should point out that he wasn't killed. He was found dead naturally. It's no like one. he was found walking down a very small <laughs> alley. <laughs> Careful, took ages. Oh. Okay, first of all, how long was this course? Uh, this is the first course. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the course, uh, the course is uh, well, it, it takes place over about sixteen uh, weeks, so four four months. A you crash know. course. That's... <laughs> <laughs> taxidermy, taxidermy takes years to perfect. Uh, but this a, is a, a crash. And, and how often did you go? It happens every week. Once a week. For 16 weeks. <laughs> that
That's not a crash course. <laughs> it That's is. an evening class. No, not, <laughs> in, not in relation to the, the, the proper course to become a professional tattoo. Well, that, that goes on for 25 years. years and you meet once every six months? That takes, that takes four years or until the animal dies. Can you...? <laughs> Did you do that mouse? Uh, basically, we uh, I found a, a mouse. Where? It, it, uh, there on the stair. <laughs> and... <laughs> and it had little clogs on. Uh, <laughs> and I found the mouse uh, actually uh, in the cage which it was kept in because it was my child's pet. And it was but... skateboarding. No, it wasn't skateboarding. <laughs> My son was a skateboarder, and that's why he wanted the mouse on the skateboard. What did you do with the mouse that you found? Well, uh, for the first thing I did was uh, I had to break the news to my son, and I said, uh, your mouse is dead. <laughs> so that was that covered. Uh, and then he said, oh, I don't, want to, I don't want to lose him forever. And I said, in that case, it's the crash course at the taxi <laughs> So, wait a minute, okay. the mouse dies. Correct. You have a conversation with your son. What are we going to do? Let's stuff him. I know, I'll learn. I won't get a professional Correct. animal stuffer. And that's because... I'll learn to do it. You ring up the course, they I say there it. happens to be a 16-week course no. starting <laughs> next week. How many people were on the course? I would say there was 12, 14, something like that. 12. 12. There was 12. 12. 12, 12. yes. Yeah, sorry, no, it was a, a disciples' convention. Talk, talk me it? through them. What sort of people were they? It was Matthew, Mark, Luke... I'm oh, sorry, there's, uh, there was... Uh, there was a guy called Thomas. He wasn't sure if he wanted to be there. Um, <laughs> Tell us what you do. Um, first, the first thing you've got to do is always check that the mouse is actually dead. <laughs> so, sorry, it's always a... It's always, always a mouse. <laughs> this Jinkers. course is just for mouse stuffers. <laughs> no, no one, no one had anything else they were introduced. So everyone, they all twelve. You turn up, weird. sit down, get your mouse out. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was the, you've got to remember that it's an introductory course. There was one guy, so just one guy, Brian. A good entry. Turned up with a giraffe. <laughs> he turned up with a giraffe and he went, you went, "You want the advanced course, mate? Because we can't do this in sixteen weeks." <laughs> Next door, the, the one that's got the, uh, you know, the, the Velux windows. <laughs> Stuff a giraffe if you've got Velux windows. That's the first thing you learn. <laughs> what did you do? Scoop the inside Thank out. Thank you. Is someone finally interested in the art form? <laughs> first thing you've got to do is get rid of the inside of the mouse. How? Uh, how do you do that? How? Good question, sure. <laughs> you get a, a, a sharp blade and you make a, a, an incision from the back of the skull all the way down to the tail. So what happens when you make that when you make that incision down the down the spine? Down the spine, yeah. What happens? So now, now I'm looking. Can it be described as a very very horrific pop up book? <laughs> because <laughs> I opened it up, <laughs> and, and it's not a pretty sight. I would describe it, <laughs> would describe it as sort of mouse spine like. <laughs> and, it, all like that. and the and the fella said, first rule of stuff get stuffed taxidermy crash course. <laughs> He said, this is the interesting bit, he went, it's never, ever open them from the back. <laughs> and I, I, learned a I learned a lesson. You've got to learn, haven't you? You've got to learn. You've got to learn. So what I did learned... you do? Well, it means you got me needle and thread. So you stitched the I mouse back stitched up. stitched the mouse back up, right. get him back to how he was. Right. <laughs> Turn him over. Yeah. Slice down the middle. And then what did you do? You have to... Effectively, there's no, there's no easy way of saying it, I had to scrape out his insides. With what? With the, with the tools, the tools that they give you. <laughs> what sort of tool is it? Well, there's many, many tools. You know those weird things you get when you're trying to get the last bit of lobster out of the claw? Then it's like a little fork. It's got it little... wouldn't work with a giraffe, though, Oh, would no, it? just a giraffe. You just... <laughs> All you need for a giraffe is a spade and loads of bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you scoop yeah, out... We, know, we learned that on day four. <laughs> What do you put back in to give him that healthy... You build individual fragments of bone shapes put out of metal and glue them all together. It takes, ooh, 15 weeks on a Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, David? It, 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 it sounds very plausible to me, but what is your team? <laughs> Sheila, what do you think? No, I think it's you a lie. You think it's a lie? I can't, I can't see why anyone wouldn't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't think there's any level on which any of us believe that. <laughs> uh, you're saying it's a lie. Lee? Yeah. Is it the truth or is it a lie? Oh, I actually have to go through the thing of pressing the button. <laughs> <laughs> lie. <laughs> Place the item from the box on top of the desk first, and then read out the card. Thank you. 
This is my lucky dice. Mm. I can always roll a six with it in three <laughs> goes. <laughs> David. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, go on, then. No, I don't... <laughs> Do you want to know how I came to discover this? Yes, please. Just found it in a box. <laughs> so how long again? have you had it? I've had it for about 20 years. <laughs> oh, oh the, the dice, I thought you meant my syphilis. <laughs> Where did you get it? I got it from a woman in Highgate. <laughs> I meant the syphilis. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I pay for it, four ninety nine. <laughs> Without the dice. <laughs> Full of spots. <laughs> when did you first discover that you had that that these dice or die were indeed lucky? I was walking the back streets of Hong Kong. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm down this dark alley. Right. Uh, there, there's, a, there's a weird shop staying open late. I go in, a small bell rings, and a small Chinese man was there. <laughs> Hang on, this is Gremlins, forget this. <laughs> uh, this, I got it from Amelis. <laughs> Give us some examples of when you've used this lucky dice. Well, I've used it... Uh, it helped me uh, get together with my uh, first girlfriend. Oh, do tell. Yeah, that was her name. <laughs> It wasn't a real name. It was Janet. Janet. It yeah. helped you get together with Janet. <laughs> it helped me get How? together with Janet, my first girlfriend, because How? she was a big fan of magic. Right. And I, um, and I said, oh, I can do a magic trick. And she said, what's that? I said, you see this dice? I can guarantee, at any point I can roll it three times, <laughs> and I'll always get a six. And how many times did you do it before Janet said, I love you? <laughs> She never expressed her love for me. Oh. But after I rolled it once, we slept together. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should put this lucky dice to the test. Now, yeah. to get a proper view, why don't you... You could come out and use this bit of stage here. You'd be like one of those New York crapshooters from Guys and Dolls. Mm. <laughs> I mean, when would you like me to get it? Straight away, or would that just ruin it? I think a bit of tension for the last roll. A bit of you? tension, yeah. yeah. Let's it's make it never gone three. wrong in 20 years. I swallowed it. <laughs> There's the first one. What is it, madam? Five. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Sorry. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> it's Janet! <laughs> so, <laughs> there's no worries. You've got two left. OK. Here we go. I mean, be honest, it's pretty <laughs> gripping, isn't it? It's actually pretty <laughs> gripping stuff, isn't it? Here we go. Well, people watched Deal or No Deal, didn't they? <laughs> Attempt number two, here we go. Three. It's three. A three. <laughs> so you're sticking to your promise of waiting for the third roll. Where are you going? Have a little sit down. <laughs> so, what do we think? Is it true or is it? <laughs> <a lie>? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to follow through on your promises. <laughs> right, here right. we go. Come on. Here we go. Let me say that I personally am convinced that. Lee is telling a lie, but that nevertheless he will now roll a six. <laughs> <laughs> Here he goes. Lee Mack, third roll, got to be a six. It's rolling. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> so what numbers did I get? Can anyone remember? Five, three, and two. So they don't add up to six either. They? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Check. Is this uh, definitely the dice I brought in? <laughs> I've got an idea. We can make this work by just we retake Lee reading the card and he says, This is my dice, it occasionally rolls a six. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So, what are you going to say then, Johnny? Lie. 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 Lee, truth or lie? It was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lee. <coughs> Ooh, possession. Oh, right, you're going to pick the box up then from under the desk. Well, you say box. Yeah, oh, sorry, the Ooh, tube, the yes. tube. <laughs> this is my wall map of the UK. I have marked every service station that I have ever visited on it. Oh, OK. I can so see him doing that. Yeah. <laughs> this from a man who was criticising somebody else for photographing a beige carpet. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Sorry, if, are they um, are they little stickers? Yes. Sorry? They're two colours of stickers. There are two colours what of stickers. What do they represent? The orange ones. Th these are the orange ones, the yeah. orange ones. Yeah. And I've also done blue ones. But why? Why? So I could differentiate between the two types but of service stations. Why? What? I'm about to tell you. OK, well, come on. Just give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Lee likes to finish his own sentences, sometimes not. <laughs> they are basically do two differentiating uh, service stations. <laughs> I use orange if I am heading north and blue if I'm heading south. <laughs> or if I'm heading west, I also go for blue. In east, I go for orange. Well, you have headed north a lot more than you've headed <laughs> west or east. I mean, how did you get back here? <laughs> There's about, they're actually equal if you count them. Looks like there are loads more orange. <laughs> uh, now, that one on the, in Scotland there, on the top... I can't believe you know where Scotland is, David. Well done. Near Inverness is one. That yeah, one there? That one there. Would reminisce about that. Uh, <laughs> you know what, I will. I will reminisce about yeah. that. Uh, I went in, uh, went through to the main pasty area, where I ordered my <laughs> Ginster's pasty. And uh, my say Aberdeen service so station, no, it was absolutely oh, the perfect okay. temperature. Just, what, this just, is really hurting just, my arm. OK, you Sorry. can put it down. One more question, though. One more question, though. Well, you don't have to spoil it with the details. Yes, you want to have a look, they can have a look. Can they? Yeah. These are all motorway service. Oh, you're all coming, are you? Well, OK. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank
<laughs> you know, it's not, it's not a great... I mean, Keely, would you really want that on a date if I said, so, how did the tennis go, love? <laughs> <laughs> I could take it into the bedroom and go, you don't think it's big? Look at it again. <laughs> <laughs> It's a salad fork, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what gave you Images. the idea? Where was the inspiration for this? I read it in a book. You read it in a book? Yes. Which book was that? The Book of Dieting. <laughs> Dieting. No, it was a big it was, it was book of stupid dieting. <laughs> <laughs> right, David, what do you think? It's a lie. It's a lie. A lie. A lie. Uh, Keely, are you in agreement with L the rest I of the team? I think that's a lie. It... So you're saying no? OK. Lee Mack, uh, were you telling the truth there? Um, it was a lie. No. <laughs> What a shock. It was a lie. Lee did not go on a diet which involved using children's cutlery for every meal to make his portion seem bigger.